Hi, I'm Andy Colaserto, a construction lawyer with Shoemaker, Loop & Kendrick, bringing you this week's CAGC update. Here's your member savings tip. This week we are featuring your member savings through Enterprise Fleet Management. If you use Enterprise for vehicle purchases, leasing, maintenance, and fuel, you will receive a discount as a Carolina's AGC member. Other members have reported saving enough to cover their dues. In national legislative news, the Senate is considering amendments to the National Defense Authorization Act. One of the amendments would ban reverse auctions for construction. Many states already have laws in place for this, but those laws do not prevent federal agencies from conducting reverse auctions for construction in those states. AGC of America urges members to contact their senators on reverse auctions. Read more and take action in seconds from the CAGC homepage under Current News. Also, please be aware of the President's July 31st executive order requiring reporting of labor law violations. You can also find this information linked from the CAGC homepage under Current News. CAGC Foundation Training. On Wednesday, CAGC will hold the popular Construction Claims course in Columbia. This breakfast roundtable will cover claim recognition, documentation, preparation, and resolution. You still have time to register before the 27th. We're building a strong network. We'd like to thank Tom Bowinkle of Trident Construction for hosting a luncheon this week where firms can come hear about state legislative news, networking, and training opportunities offered by CAGC. Members always communicate the value of strong industry network better than anyone else. And finally, the CAGC board and division nomination committees have nominated the leadership for 2015. View the slate on the CAGC website homepage under current news. Additional candidates may be proposed, provided five members submit the name to the President and CEO, Cynthia Mills, by September 15th. Have a great week.